Hello America, Tony McMillan, Walnut Ridge Family RV Sales, Newcastle, Indiana, and welcome to Feature Friday. Today we're going to take a little different approach. We're going to talk about some of the things that we run into or that we hear about. So today we're going to take a look at a couple travel trailers. Now we're not going to spend a lot of time talking about the floor plans, but we're going to talk about the fact that the industry calls them a travel trailer. Some people call them a bumper pull or a toe behind are some of the slang terms for, uh, for them. They're going to range in size and in price. This particular unit here is a 177 LHS. It measures about 22 feet overall and it's going to have a weight of around 3,000 pounds. Over here on the other side of the aisle is a 28 RKS hideout which is a rear kitchen floor plan. It's going to have a weight closer to 6,000 pounds and need to be towed by a half ton vehicle or larger. Um, typically you're going to have some sort of weight distribution bars and or sway control, whether it's an individual system or it's built into that. But very common in the RV industry, an aluminum sided uh, wooden framed coach, these are going to be one of your most affordable options on how to get into camping with your family. Next, we're going to take a look at fifth wheels. So on this side of the aisle, we have the Cougar Half Ton Series, towable by most late model half ton trucks, depending on how they're equipped. See your dealer or one of uh, your uh, sales specialists to make sure that everything lines up as far as being able to tow it. You're going to, to start into something in the $30,000 range typically when you go into a fifth wheel, so you're going to be more expensive here. But some people say they tow better. Some people like the fact that you don't have the sway bars and, and weight distribution bars to hook up. So this is a half ton towable. And on this side of the aisle, you're going to go to a 40 foot Montana high country that's going to take you into a weight range in the 12,000 pound range where you're going to have to have typically a three quarter ton uh, truck, whether it be a gas truck or a diesel truck and they can go on up from there. We're just using that as a size example. So take a look at those. The next segment, guys, we're going to take a look at uh, quickly is some, some toy haulers. So there are toy haulers that are travel trailer or bumper pull or tow behind that you can pull. Again, you'll have to watch your size. Some will be half ton towable. Some will require three quarter ton or larger just depending on the size. And of course, with a toy hauler, you've got a garage in the back that gives you the capability that you can haul your golf cart, you can haul your bicycles, your dirt bikes, your street bikes, uh, ATV, side-by-sides, anything like that. So from there, you go on to the more classic uh, fifth wheel toy hauler. And here, traditionally, you're gonna get into units that are large enough that three quarter ton diesel is going to be the minimum size tow vehicle that you're going to want to pull and some of them are even going to press the weight uh, the weight capacities where you're going to want to think about a one ton dually so take a look at those guys that'll give you some other options and the last thing that you'll find here at Walnut Ridge uh, Family RV Sales in Newcastle is a selection of motorized units so two of the biggest questions that get asked what's the difference between a class A and a class C this is a Class C. It's a Sunseeker built by Forest River. Class Cs are, are typically very easy to find once you know what you're looking for. They traditionally are going to have a van front end of some sort, whether it be a Ford or a Chevy. So this is a Class C. On this side of the drive, you're going to find a Class A. A Class A motorhome, uh, the way I describe them typically is, it looks like a loaf of bread with wheels. So big box style. Typically your Class A's are going to go larger. You're going to find them available in gas or diesel. In your Class C's, you will also find them uh, in Class A and you will find, or excuse me, you'll find them in gas. Um, but you'll also find a few in diesel power plants uh, in larger units. So di different options, different sleeping capacities, different price points, different towing capacities, things like that, but lots of different options for you and your family to go camping and travel. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.